We are back for season two of The Good Place, which is uh, uh, sort of weirdly a completely different story. Even though we left the world on a reset, this version is got a, has got a lot more Michael in it, a lot more Ted Danson, the right amount of Ted Danson, the amount of Ted Danson that you want. And it's a lot more dimensional because you know a lot of secrets about the world uh, and all the other dimensions. So it's kind of fun. It's a very hard show to tease because all of the reveals are what make it so much fun. But I will say the, the perspective has shifted on the show this year. Uh, you, you see a lot more of the inside uh, secrets of the show. In season one, I play Eleanor, a clerical error that got into the good place. So she was not a good person, and she is amongst the best people that ever lived on Earth. And she quickly goes into survival mode and says, I gotta learn how to be a good person, what they do, how they act. So she finds the ethics professor, uh, who is her soulmate, to teach her how to be good. And the whole first season is about her learning what good people do and desperately trying to change her instincts, or at least ignore them. So after Eleanor fesses up, she then regrets her choice a bit and says, well, wait a minute, I am, I am trying to be good, and she's still fighting for herself. So she says, you know what, you're not going to send me to the bad place. She escapes on a train to the medium place that she was convinced all along existed, which is a place where things are neither good or bad. You have beer, your favorite beer, but it's always warm. You have a jukebox, but it's always playing terrible music. And everything that's basically just average. Um, and after being there for a while, she decides this isn't great either. I'm, I'm gonna go back because she hears over a loudspeaker all throughout the good place and the bad place that two people are owed to the bad place. And if she doesn't come back, they will take two of the real good people. So she rushes back, and there's... So Eleanor goes back to the good place, and they try to decide amongst themselves who should be sent to the bad place. And the altruistic characters are saying, I'll do it, I'll take one for the team, I'll be a martyr. And Eleanor is saying, great, and then feeling guilty, no, I should go. And at the very last moment, Eleanor figures out, this is torture. Maybe this isn't the good place. This is the bad place. We are being tortured. So once we all figure out this is the bad place, Michael decides to wipe our memories. But there's a split second before he does where Eleanor, because she is clever, decides to write herself a note and shoves it in Janet's mouth because Janet is a robot and can't eat anything. And we end the season knowing that Eleanor has left herself a clue. And the second season begins with, what does Eleanor do with that clue? I'm always a, a well, I'm a fan of a lot of different things, but I think big concept shows are so interesting because you genuinely don't know what's gonna happen. You know, you, you see a, a a drama or a comedy with a totally different world, whether it's an outer space or it's the good place or the bad place, there, there are just so many variables that the writers could take advantage of. And what I love about our show is the writers, they, they write really funny stuff, but they always take advantage of the world. We have a lot of um, VFX in our show, a lot of sort of crazy computer-generated stuff that really makes you feel like you are not on planet Earth.